What's going on Work Life Warriors? Today we are perfecting the push-up. All right, so we're gonna get on the mat and the reason why the push-up is such a great and important exercise is because it really is the de facto upper body workout that doesn't require any equipment. So perfecting this is gonna be key if you wanna build your back, your shoulders, your chest and everything. So if you don't know how to do a push-up, the first type of push-up you can try are the ones on your knees, right? So you just, um, you, st you, you get onto your knees and you get your torso upright here. And you want to get onto your hands here and make sure you extend your torso and your glutes out like so. And you just go down and you press up. Now this is going to start activating the muscles in your chest, in your shoulders, a little in your back, and your core should be tight as well as you're doing this. Um, and really the hand positioning and the wrist positioning should just be whatever you're comfortable with. Usually mine are a little bit uh, flared out, but generally pointed to to the, the, uh, the front here um, as you're doing the push-up. So this is the first level of the push-up. And I recommend that if you have a hard time doing a regular push-up, um, you start off with these. Um, and then you start working your way up. So we keep doing some of these here just to show you what this looks like. And even though I can do regular push-ups, this is still an intense workout for me. Like I'm still shaking. Like this can be a good workout if you just go low and slow here, right? And generally also you want to get your chin just above the floor. You don't want your chin to touch the floor, but you want to probably be about an inch or two away here. So that's the first variation of the push-up. So now the second variation of the push-up is going to be just a regular push-up, okay? So we're gonna get into plank position here. So arms uh, about 90 degrees uh, from your torso. Your legs are, your feet and legs are together and your glutes are tight and your core is tight. Now from here, you just bend at the elbows and you come down and you wanna get about an inch away from the floor and you come up. Now, you can do these at like faster paces, or if you're just starting off, just do a couple slow ones here. Make sure you exhale as you're pressing up here. Your glutes are tight, your core is engaged. And this is how you want to do the push-up. Now this is going to work out your triceps, your chest, really hit every aspect your upper body there and that's a regular push-up so probably can do once you can do you know 10 20 uh, that's really solid um, and you know you can go fast if you go fast then you really build, build explosiveness if you go slow you're gonna activate and recruit more muscles as you're doing it so you can vary it up also um, so go fast here if you can, you don't have to, or you can go slow, down, hold a little bit, and slow up, slow down, and slow up. Try different variations and uh, see how they, how they feel. Okay, so that's the second variation of a push-up. Um, the third variation that I'll show you guys uh, it's called the Hindu push-up. And really the Hindu push-up is more gonna be tricep, um, tricep dominant, right? So Hindu push-up, you get into plank position here, and then you go into what we call downward dog. So you kind of hinge your hips up here. And when you come down, you almost make a half circle. You're coming up here and you're pressing up with your tricep. I'll show you again. Half circle down and up. 
Now, like unlike a very unlike a normal push-up, your arms are gonna be out here beyond your past your shoulder. But then when you come back in, they're gonna be way behind than a regular push-up. So like a regular push-up, your shoulder to your hands is about the same distance. You're not all the way out here. You know, you're not you're not all the way back here, but you're here. But then with the Hindu push-up, first you're out here, but then you extend in, you end up in here. Okay? So there's that kind of push-up. Um, and then another really popular push-up um, you've probably seen before, they call the diamond push-up. And this one, you bring your hands together close as you're doing the push-up. So this is also going to be more tricep focused. This is also going to focus more on the upper chest here because as the further your hands go in any sort of push workout, so in a push-up and a bench press, um, the more you're going to be working your chest all the way up to your shoulders. Um, versus if you bring your hands lower, like back here, then you're going to be working your triceps and your lower chest. So if I'm all the way up here, for example, I'm going to be working, doing a push up here, I'm going to be doing more of my upper chest and my shoulders. Same with, so just to get into the, uh, just to get into the diamond push ups here, this is going to hit more of your upper chest, your shoulders, and your back. And these are another level right here. These are definitely beyond just a regular push-up. You do a couple of those, guarantee it'll be tough. And then we got one more variation, which is really gonna hit your shoulders. And these are, we call these uh, hike ups. So you're in downward dog here, same position, and you're pushing up at about a 45 degree angle here. So this is gonna work your shoulders mainly. Like I said, you know, the more, the further up you go in terms of where your hands are, the upper, the higher the upper body part you're gonna be working. So this is your shoulders rather than your chest. All right, enough talking, more doing. So we're gonna start doing some push-ups here. Uh, we're gonna try all five, uh, and we're just gonna do about 30 seconds of each. So I encourage you to try them at home with me while I do these. Um, if you get tired in between, don't worry. These are super hard, so I know how it is. But let's try the different variations here, okay? So we're first gonna do the ones on our knees. Keep on pushing. When you're coming down, feel your back squeeze. Yeah. Excellent work, okay. Do a little 15 second rest real quick here. Now we're gonna go into our normal push-ups, okay? So. If you can't do these, remember, just keep doing the ones on your knees, no worries. Okay, here we go. I'm just going at moderate speed here. Really try to get your face close to the ground, but not all the way touching, okay? You don't want to kiss the ground. That would be disgusting. You want to get close though. Perfect. All right. Now let's do some Hindus. Okay. Get back into push-up position. Downward dog facing here. And we're just gonna roll up. Okay. Squeeze the abs. Roll. Yes. 
make sure you keep breathing through this exercise. Excellent work, you guys. All right. We got that means next. Here we go. Now you can also do these on your knees as well. I'll show you real quick here. So we'll do first 15 seconds on our knees. And these on your knees are already hard. They call them diamonds because you make a diamond with your hands. Okay, maybe no more on my knees. More on your knees here. Palms are getting too slippery. Okay. What's the last one? Pike ups, right? Okay. Here we go. So we're gonna get here in the plank. Pike up here. Down with dog. We're gonna go 45 degrees, okay? This is really gonna work your shoulders here. Keep exhaling, push out as you push up. Come on, you guys. I know this is hard, but you can do it. Oh, excellent job, you guys. Proud of you for sticking all the way to the end. That was our push-up tutorial, so hopefully, you learned how to master the push-up, you learned the different variations, and try these at home. Um, and if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.